Auckland Shark Tank. Uh, just the two of us today, myself and Grant. But a couple of hot topics. Um, first off the rank is spear tackles. Is there still a place for them in the game? Well, yeah. mate, very hot topic this week. Um, we got our big, um, big tough front rower, Andrew Ward, decided to drop uh, the posse winger on, 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 their, on his head on the weekend and, and um, he's got suspended. What did he get? Eight weeks, I think. Eight weeks. Well, I mean, I'm just going to throw it out there straight up and just yell from out of the closet. Now, if he didn't duck his head, he wouldn't have, wouldn't have gotten to that stage. Like, he's probably really brought it on himself. Well, he was 23 kilos and more he's 150. Yeah. He's twirled, he's twirled him around on his little fingers and then <laughs> took his shirt off. But why is it's it taking his taking the shirt off for? Why is the shirt taking off? Yeah, I don't know. But... Like there's, there's probably, I, I, think, I can think of a couple of times when there's, you know, the, the spear tackle is warranted. It's probably when you, if you're losing by 70 points, or if you've got 70 kilos on another on the play, you just grab hold of and, and drive them too. Well, I think this instance, was it motivated by their danger man? Because after the spear tackle, that guy's gone and scored <laughs> two, two tries. tries. Yeah. <laughs> and pretty much buried, yeah. buried, buried our edges team, so. Thanks, Wardy. Yeah. Really good, so you're missing the rest of the year and, and um, you're fired them up for the win. So, um, I don't know, is it one of Wardy's signature moves off field? Is that what he's doing outside of the football field? I think he does it with the ladies. That's, yeah. what, that's what I'm saying. I, I don't know. Is that... The boys get into the wrestling over it. Over it killers and that, but I don't know if anyone takes the big, the big war turn on. <laughs> Look at the rest of the few pigs back there before. Yeah. Anyway, I think um, I think a grade four charge is probably unwarranted. Maybe just a penalty sufficient with a with a warning on the day. But we've, I mean, he's been sent off and he's, now he's got eight weeks. So yeah, well, he's had the sooks on all week too. Yeah. So that's right. See you next season, Wardy. What else we got? Um, weddings, weddings, well, or well, events during the football season. Yeah. Untimely events or acceptable event planning during the football season, yeah. um, such as weddings, 21st, 18th, 18th birthday parties, uh, engagement parties. You really need to postpone them, I think. Like, if if you're uh, you've sort of grown up playing football and, and your birthday's in July, well, the party's in October. <laughs> like that's exactly or early right. September. Or it's just messed in with Mad Monday. Like, yeah. All the boys' party, the birthday parties are just Mad Monday. That's what I thought. Yeah, that's it. Um, and then, yeah, weddings. If if you're if your mates with the bloke is going to have a wedding during the year, during the football season, it's probably not your mate. Nah, you, you got to set the ties. Move on. Pit, like, unacceptable behaviour. Wardy's looking for friends. So. Well, maybe you can get married during the year. <laughs> he's available now. <laughs> Ladies, if you're interested. Andrew Wardy, I think he's um. Pretty active on the social media circuit. So um, this topic's actually going to affect us this weekend, unfortunately. Yeah, well, I believe we're missing two players as a result um, of an unacceptable wedding date. And um, with you know, it's pretty quiet around Mackay. There'd be plenty of venues that can take in your bookings all through the summer. It's spring, spring's a good time to get married. So October, November. Not to be. Alrighty, so the games this weekend, um, obviously it's all three grades in the semi-finals. We've got under-18s against brothers down at the stadium. Um, the junior rugby league. Junior league grounds is going to be an awesome class. I think both teams have been really good all year. And our 18s guys are looking pretty sharp there, so get down there early, nice and early and watch that one. Yeah, it should be a good game. Um, then we'll be on reserve grade. What's that? This knockout one. Um, we're playing Moranbar, who, uh, mate, they've stacked their side. They're ready to go. So they've got NRL players playing their reserve grade team, so it'll be, be a difficult game. So, I mean, at what point in the year do you really make a decision to stack your reserve grade side? I don't know, that's another one. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough one, because what you're just giving up on the rest of the club, really. You just stack your reserve grade premiership for a reserve grade comp. But, 
Nothing beats a victory lap. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing beats a victory lap without a full game of footy and drink fizz. Yeah, well then you're sort of sitting there watching the A-grade grand final and then there's a bit of motivation behind Mad Monday rather than crying your beers four weeks earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, so here we go. And then uh, A-grade, three o'clock, knock out again. Um, it's actually not at one o'clock, mate. Oh, is it one o'clock? The reason why I know that is because last year we played at one o'clock and the zinc was piled up in my head, that thing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, that's right. Just for the, for the blisters. Some blisters on top, so yeah, one o'clock we're on. Oh, yeah. Knock out against um, the rivals out, out, out at Walkerston, so um, it'll be another tough clash. Hopefully there's no fisticuffs like last year's grand final. Yeah. They uh, managed to get out of the Maggies, which is a bad game actually. Yeah. Sure throw. yeah, so Maggies are out in three grades now. Unfortunately for them. And Turk. <laughs> Hi Turk. <laughs> so it should be a good weekend of footy and uh, get down there to support the Sharkies.